This isn't funny, Amber. Wouldn't you like to play a game, Tara? <laughs> doors unlocked. All doors locked. Doors unlocked. Three attacks so far. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott. Of course I have a gun. Something about this one just feels different. Samantha? I'm... I know who you are. I've been through this. A lot. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is gonna keep coming for you. You ready? For this? Never. No, stop. Wait, wait, wait. There are certain rules to surviving. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. And I won't sleep until he's in the ground. Last night I saw the movie Scream and woo! I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed, just like all the other previous Scream movies, I enjoyed this one. I can't say which one was my favorite one, but this one, this one was really good. I enjoyed this film. I really did. There was one problem that I had in this film. There was one problem. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I enjoyed this film. I really did. I enjoyed this film. The killing was on point. The action sequences was... Was cool, but I had a little problem with it. That's one of the problems. The acting was really good. The characters, I, I, I cared for the characters. That's what this movie really... That's what this movie does. It makes you care for the characters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope this dude don't die. I hope this girl don't die. Because this is a really cool character. Like, I don't want this person to die. That's what this movie does. It makes you care for the characters. It really does. Now, the, vet the veteran characters, of course, Gail, Sydney, Dewey, they come back. And the um, the other lady who's working with Dewey, um, I can't remember her name, but... Uh, she was in the police force with Dewey. She had the blonde hair. She comes back, and uh, those main four, those main four characters, those main four characters that that comes back in this film, uh, the veterans. They've been in all the other screen movies. They come back, and like I said, I enjoyed everything in this movie, man. I enjoyed the killing. I enjoyed the uh, the action sequences, mostly because that was. One problem, just just one problem. I had I had a problem with it. just one problem. I enjoyed the acting in this. I enjoyed the the humor. It wasn't really that much humor, but when it was humor, you know it it didn't really bother me because it was kind of the humor was kind of like it was there, but it wasn't funny. But it was like okay, all right, that's that's kind of hilarious. That that's hilarious, but you know it wasn't laughable. But it's hilarious, you know. But I enjoyed everything about this movie, man. I did, except for one thing. Now, I I do have to tell you this. There's not going to be another screen. At least I don't think so. The way how this ended off and the and who they killed in this movie, I don't think I don't think there's going to be another screen. I don't think there's going to be another one. I think this is the final screen movie. I think this is the last one. In my opinion, I think this is the last one. And if this is the last one, I'm satisfied with it. I'm satisfied how they ended it. You know, I'm satisfied who didn't die. I'm glad the main character didn't die, of course. 
you know, I'm satisfied with what I got. I'm satisfied with what I got. There's no need to make another Scream movie. And if they do, I'll be very surprised and they have to go out with a bang. Okay? Because, because I do have to tell you this. Sydney Prescott, she lives. She lives. She lives in this film. She doesn't die. Gail, she lives. She doesn't die. But there's two characters, two veterans that dies in here. I'm not going to say who, but there's two. You could, you could probably figure it out because I said there was four veterans and two of them died and two of them were alive. I probably just spoiled it, but two of them, two of them died. One was the was a main was the main character who who's been in all the other screen movies. That character dies, and there was another character who's been in four of the screen movies. I don't remember her in the first one, but I think she's been in the second one all the way up until now. But she dies in this film. That character dies in this film. It was it's a male and a female. Two two veteran characters dies in this film. Especially, I, I I was mad that the male character died in this film. I said, man, why why did he have to die, man? Not not him. Come on now, like he he he's been in it for a long time. Why does he got to die? I mean, why him? Like, why does he have to die? Like, why? Come on now, like why does he have to die, man? Like he no, like I I was that was one part I was upset about. Like he didn't have to die. Like that's how I knew. And, and the other character, I'm like, oh, I liked her too. Why does she have to die? Like, dang it, no, I don't want her to die. Like, dang. And and that's how I knew in the back of my mind. That's how I knew in the back of my mind. Like, I knew they wasn't gonna make another screen movie. I knew I knew they're not. Go I know they're not gonna make another screen movie. Most likely they're not. In my opinion, most likely they're not. But I could be wrong. They may come out with another one. Now I do have to say this the story the story of this uh movie it goes back to the first one because one of the main characters it evolves around her and the serial killer in the first one he has a daughter and the daughter is the main character in this movie and she keeps having flashbacks of her father, who was the serial killer in the first movie, she's having flashbacks of him, and you know she's talking to him, stuff like that, and like she's in the back of her head, he's in the back of her car, stuff like that, talking to her, giving her it, giving her all these, all this lethal advice and stuff like that, and she just having panic attacks. I'm like, yo, this girl's really going through it, like for real, and and I like the way how they did that, for real, for real, how they went back to the um. How it kind of drew back to the to the first movie. It it kind of drew it kind of reeled you back into the first movie with the main character. How the the main character it was the girl and she was the daughter of the serial killer of the first movie. I liked how they I like how they did that. I like how they rearranged the story with that. You know what I'm saying? I really like how they did that. And um, <laughs> now let's talk about the problem that I had with this film. The killing was really good. The killing was good. Now the action during the killing, it was not realistic. It, it wasn't realistic. Like, I'll give you an example. The killer, he has a knife. He has a knife. Yeah, this is the knife in his hand. He has the other. He has his other hand like this, and he's about to stab somebody. And there's another dude who's holding him, holding him like this, preventing him from getting stabbed, Pre preventing from getting stabbed. He's trying to, he's, he's holding him like this. You know, the, the killer's holding his hand like this, trying to stab the dude like this. And the other dude's trying to prevent him from being, trying to prevent himself from being stabbed. He's just holding him like this. And I'm watching it, and they just having a standoff for like a good 15 seconds. I'm, I'm sitting there like, Dude, you have legs. Kick this dude. Like kick him. Like what the like what the hell are you doing? Like, okay, you're 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 having a standoff with the killer who's trying to kill you. You're holding his arms, preventing him from stabbing you. Like you're you're having a good ass standoff for 15 seconds. And you're just standing there holding him. Like 
don't you have legs? Kick this dude or something like, and he and all of a sudden just he just let he just let some overpower him. He just get stabbed just so easily like that. I'm like what? I'm like what? Like yo and and there was this another and there was this uh this other um action sequence where the killer he knocks down somebody. All he did was just push him into the door, and then the dude just get knocked out. I'm like huh? How you get knocked out with just one little push? What? So it the, the action sequences wasn't really realistic. Some of the action sequences wasn't realistic. But some of the action sequences were realistic because there was two characters, especially this one girl. She she was fighting throughout this whole movie. Even when she, when she was crippled. When she, man, yo. She was fighting for her life in this movie. I'm like, yes. Like, I'm like, yes. This is how you fight back against somebody who's trying to kill you. I'm like, yes. This is how you do it. This is how you fight back. Like, throughout this whole movie, she's a fighter. I'm like, yes. This is how you fight back. Yes. This is how you fight. This is a fighter. How you go up against the killer. This is what you do. Like, you automatically just applaud her for this and you just glad that she stays alive throughout this whole movie because she is a fighter she went through it like like you this character that i'm talking about who's a fighter she gets introduced first in the movie and she's the first victim to get stabbed but she didn't die but she got very severely injured she's in the hospital but she didn't die but the killer's still trying to go after her. But in the hospital, she's, she, she's a fighter. In the hospital and other places in the movie, she is a fighter. I'm like, yes, yes. This is how you fight back. You, She is fighting for her life. Like, I was enjoying it. I was like, yes, this is how you fight back. Thank you. Yes, thank you. This is how you fight back. Thank you. Like I give I like I give her a round of applause. A round of applause. And the actor who played her, the actress who played her, round of applause. You did a phenomenal job. Cindy Prescott, she always been a fighter. She always been a fighter. She always been a fighter. Like she's to she's the type of fighter. She like, if I'm going down, you going down with me. Like she straight up like took the killer and they and she threw her and and him over the balcony and they fell down like two flights of stairs i'm like yo like yes this is how you fight back like sydney prescott yes thank you you fighting back like that's what i like to see i like to see them fight back but like realistically fighting fighting back that's what i like to see and that's what i enjoyed about this movie that's what i did enjoy now if i had to rate this movie I was going to say something else, but it kind of slipped my mind. What was I? What was I going to say? Um, it'll probably come to me, or probably not. But anyways, if I had to rate this movie from one out of ten, I would give this movie a solid eight out of ten. I was going to give it a seven point five, but as I really sat back and thought about it, I said, you know what? I really enjoyed this movie. I really did. And I went to go see it with somebody. And you really have to go see these movies. You really have to go see this movie with somebody, you know, because it, it makes the experience a lot more fun. You know what I'm saying? It's more enjoyable. And and I and I, and I did. I enjoyed this movie. So I give this movie an 8 out of 5. And, oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. The one thing I like about, the one thing I like about this story the one thing I like about screen movies is that they get right to the action. They get right to the action. They waste no time. They get right to the action. As soon as the movie, soon as the movie begins, they get right to the action. Right to the action. And it's just nonstop action throughout the whole movie. Intense action, the tension, the buildup, it's just nonstop. And that's what I love about screen movies. And also what I like about screen movies that is horror and it's thriller and it's also a mystery. Because you're trying to find out who's the killer is. Who is the killer? And every single movie, I always get them wrong. Like, all right, this is the killer. This is the killer. This is the killer. I always get them wrong. I always get them wrong. I always get get them wrong. In the previous screen movies, um, I don't know which one, but I know in the previous screen movies, there were two killers. This one, there's two killers. 
And I told myself watching this movie, when the movie began, I said, you know what? I wanna, I'm, I'm going to figure out who the killer is. I'm going to find out. I'm going to get this right. But as the movie went on, I'm just saying, you know what? I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this. I'm just going to let it play out. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even going to figure out who the killer is. Because I was just sitting back enjoying the movie. Like, that's how good this movie is. I was just sitting back enjoying the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was really, it was really that good. And the two killers, when you find out who the killers are, one of them, you least expect it. Two of them, I mean, one of them you least expect who who's the killer is. One of them, when you find out who the killer is, one of the killers, one of them, you least expect it. The second person, the second killer, you could be like, you could just, you could just easily guess. Like, oh, okay, okay, I can easily guess you was the killer because you was kind of laying low throughout the whole movie, okay? Because I can easily guess you was you you was the killer, all right? But the first killer. It was unexpected. I was like, wow, okay. I was not expecting him to be the killer. I'm like, oh, okay. But the second killer, I'm like, oh, okay. I could easily guess you was the killer because you was laid back a little low. Like, you was kind of laid back a little bit. There's a female killer and there's a male killer, all right? And like I said, one of them was unexpected. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know you was the killer, all right? And the other one, you can easily guess like okay you was i can tell you was the killer because you was laying low and acting a little creepy throughout this whole film like okay but yeah like i said man like i enjoyed this i really enjoyed this if i have to rate this from one out of ten i would give this a solid eight out of ten that i would give this a solid eight out of ten this was a really good film is is this a rewatchable film Hell yeah, this is a rewatchable film. And I recommend you watch this with your family and friends, you know. And you can watch this by yourself and you still have a good time watching this, you know. You still have a good time watching this movie. And it will and it will make you go it will make you go back and watch the previous um screen movies. And and I have to say, I will go back and watch the previous Scream movies because I enjoyed the Scream movies. I really do. And I enjoyed this one. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, I enjoyed this, guys. I enjoyed this movie. I recommend this to family and friends. I recommend you seeing this in theaters. You know, when you get the chance. And, like I said, even if you watch this by yourself, it's still enjoyable. It's rewatchable. This is a really good, this was a really good movie. This is a really good movie. But you don't have to take it from me. If you don't like the screen movies, you don't have to take it from me. You don't don't see it. But my advice to you is, if, even if you've never seen the screen movies, if you go and see this one, you're still gonna have a good time watching it. I guarantee you. You still have a good you still you're still gonna have a good time watching it. I guarantee you that. You will still have a good time watching it. Alright. But yeah, like I said, I give this an eight out of ten. This was a good film. This is the most definitely rewatchable film. I recommend you watch this with family and friends. I definitely recommend you go to the theater and watch this movie when you get the chance. And even you, even if you watch this by yourself, you'll still have a good time watching this film, like like how I did. And I was satisfied with the ending. I was satisfied with Sydney Prescott surviving. So I'm gonna say that she survives. Gail survives. But there's two veteran characters that gets killed that makes me think like, okay, this is not going to be another screen movie. All right. I'm not going to say who they are, but you could probably guess who they are and they're not going to make it. That's what made me upset. So, but I still enjoyed this movie. Post comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this movie review. Please leave a like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless. <laughs>